Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Another what's in the bag of the Buzzman. So this is my woods. Um, I've already done a video on my wedges and my driver. So this is the other clubs that are at the top of my set. So I've got three to show you. However, I would never carry all three of these in the same bag in the same round because they do a lot of things rather similarly. So I will tend to try and pick what's going to work best for me on that course or kind of how I'm playing at the time. Uh, the utility iron I've got, so this is the Callaway Apex UT. I've got an 18 degree one of these. Uh, love this club. I've uh, been using it off the tee. Um, quite a new addition to the bag, but I'm finding I can carry it about at least 235, um, up to about 240, 245. So this is a, a great club. Um, I'm a guy that delivers a club quite from the inside, so I'm a bit of a drawer of the golf ball. Never really got on very well with utility irons or like your, your typical hybrid. So I'm finding this one goes out like a rocket so I can really chase it down the fairways. So again, I've, I've had a five wood in the bag in the past, but felt like off the tees it was I kind of going too high. So if there's any wind, it was a bit harder to control. Plus I. I was giving up too much distance because it would land soft. So this one, yeah, really happy with it. Like playing this little cut shot as well with it. So although it does come out a bit lower, I feel like I can hit a little cut shot off the tee, kind of get it going up the left-hand side of the fairway, use the whole fairway and land a bit softer. So if, if it's not raw distance I need and it's just accuracy, again, I find I can play that shot fantastically with this club. Uh, it's got a KBS Tour. C taper in it, uh, it's the X, so 130 gram shaft, really heavy, multi compound mid size grip. So uh, it's the mid size grip that I'm really enjoying at the minute. I really like the grip, so that's why that is on there. Quarter of an inch longer than standard, one degree flat. That club currently in the bag, absolutely loving it. The club that has been removed as a result of the, the Callaway one coming in is my trusty friend. It's an old V-Steel. It's a tour issue head. Um, had a Oban Revenge shaft put in it. So I've had this club for years. I um, had, had the shaft put in there a few years ago. Very heavy shaft. So I, I got this shaft in there, not so much for the flex. I mean, it is an X, but it's, um, it's the weight. Uh, the shaft I had previously was a lot lighter, whereas Love this club. Um, I will tend to carry it when I'm not going to carry my three wood and I don't really want to carry the utility. So this one kind of bridges the gap between the two of them. Flies very similar to, to my utility, to my 18 degree utility. Goes slightly higher. So again, if I'm trying to find a club that maybe needs to land a bit softer, I mean, this is the one I would use. Um, I've actually got it slightly longer than standard, so again, the reason being, if I'm using it off the tee as a replacement for my three wood, just allows me to get a bit more distance out of it. But again, very, very trusty friend, uh, has been in and out of the bag for years now, so it, again, it, it, you've probably all got one at home, that a, a club you would never sell. This would be my one, and like I say, it, it does pop in now and again, although it currently isn't in the bag, because my three wood, so it's an ping answer. Um, you can change the loft on this one. Um, the adjustability is not that big on ping products because they feel like it compromises uh, the MOI. But I have moved this one down. It is a 14 and a half and I've got it down at 14 at the minute. Love the club, love the flight. It's quite a penetrating flight. So again, I, I'm really happy to use it in the wind. I've got uh, just the standard ping X shaft in it, it's the Tor X shaft, multi compound grip. It's, it's carrying 250 at the minute and that used to be perfect because I used to carry my driver about 275 so I quite like a three wood that's going to roll out to where my driver's going to land because then you know they're not going to cross over so really good for like if you don't want to roll through a fairway the last thing you want to do is your three wood going into where your driver is only issue I have now or an issue is I'm, I'm driving the ball a bit further um, hitting my driver carrying it 290 plus 
So I'm finding this one's actually a bit close to the utility. So I might look at changing it, but again, it's nothing that I dislike about the club. It's just, I'm trying to fill a yardage. All, reason why I have all three of these and the reason why I only ever carry two of them, I'm really trying to match what yardages I need and that's both carry yardage and kind of what the flight's going to produce. So not only carry, how is it going to react when it lands? So again, if I had a, a course where I feel like I'm going to be whacking woods at par fives, I might carry the woods and not the utility for that reason, because although they carry similar, I can stop the wood quicker or I can carry the wood slightly further and get it to stop. So again, it's, it's really thinking about why you've got your clubs in your bag. How are they going to maximize your performance? And it's something that I hope you at home are actually trying to consider and would love to hear your comments if you are somebody that really does consider this, maybe changes their clubs around a bit. Or are you somebody that has this trusty club, so my one here, do you have a club that stays in, in your garage and every so often maybe when you're struggling a bit you decide to bring it out to put a bit more consistency into your game? Love to hear what you've got to say. I hope to catch you soon.